What's up guys, my name is Kevin with Road Trip Tape and today we're going to be applying Road Trip Tape on this Genesis Coupe. For this installation we're going to use the extra strength tape, we're going to use the felt tip squeegee and some scissors. We recommend picking up a felt tip squeegee just because when you're applying the tape this helps eliminate all the air bubbles that will get trapped in between and gives it a nice seamless look. Pick one up available on our website. When choosing your road trip tape, we have two kinds. We have the regular strength and extra strength. What is the difference between regular and extra strength? It's just the adhesive. If you look at it, you see one is a little bit more yellow than the other, and that's because it has more adhesive than the other one. This one was engineered for dipped cars like this one, wrapped cars, uh, cars that just been freshly waxed or ceramic coated. Regular strength is for regular cars. Also recommended if your car is old, if your car paint is already loose because of the rock chips, if your car has been repainted and does not have the factory paint, then you have to use the regular strength. Extra strength, there's a high possibility to rip your paint if your paint has been repainted and it's not your factory paint or if your paint is loose. So do not use extra strength, use regular strength. So in this case, the car has been dipped and it has no gloss to it. So we're gonna use extra strength tape. First things first, we wanna clean up the bumper to eliminate anything that you might have trapped on the paint. To wipe down the bumper, do not use detailing spray because detailing spray has some wax to it and that will prevent the tape to actually adhering to the bumper. You can use any alcohol-based cleaner, even rubbing alcohol. Just wipe down the bumper, make sure there's no wax in it, and then the tape should stick on perfectly. In this case, we're using uh, pre-clean. Once the car is all wiped down, get your felt tip squeegee, some scissors, and your tape, and you're ready to apply. Now, we do recommend starting from the top down, so I always like to use at least a quarter of the hood down where you get most of the rock chips and bugs. Let's get started. So now you're gonna work your way from the hood. Now, I'll show you the difference between using the felt tip squeegee and not using the felt tip squeegee. When you're applying the tape and you use your hand, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get some air bubbles trapped in between. Now I'll show you the difference with the felt tip. You just peel this out. And when you reapply it, look how seamless it looks. So that's why I always recommend pick this up on the website when you're purchasing your kit. Another trick when applying the tape is not to stretch it and apply it because once you stretch it and you leave it in the sun, it's gonna try to go back to its original form. And when it does, it's gonna start coming off the car. So the best thing to do is just let it relax and let the felt tip just laying it down like so. Relax and just do it. Do not stretch it. Once you reach the end, just grab your scissors and cut the edge. Since road trip tape is clear, you can actually use it on your headlights to prevent all the bugs that are attracted during the night rides to your light. When applying your tape, here's a little trick for you guys. So when you get to the wheel well, don't leave an excess and fold it in because what happens is with all the circular motion, you're gonna get a lot of wind and it's gonna start lifting up the tape. So a little trick for you guys is to just trim it right on the edge. Around there. And that way, the tape doesn't lift up. So here's a little trick that I, I do. When you get to the end, instead of folding the tape down, what you do is just cut around the edge. And that way, you don't stretch the tape because eventually with time and speed, the tape will start folding back up. The same thing in this corner. So instead of folding it down and eventually the tape lifting up within a few miles in the speed, what you do is just trim this right here and that will help the tape stay there the whole ride 
Thanks again for watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment below. Please check us out on Instagram and Facebook. It's at roadtriptape.com. Thanks again.